Welcome. Gentlemen, would you show the show? Hello and welcome to this North Penn News update. I'm Lauren Schwartz. The spirit of the holiday season is abundant at North Penn High School. The staff and students are once again participating in the Key Club's annual Toys for Tots campaign. Local Marine Corps Reserve representatives have been stopping by collecting all of the toys donated by the generous folks at MPHS. Toys can be donated through Tuesday, December 16th. The Knights and Maidens basketball teams kicked off their seasons with a Midnight Madness celebration. The teams and their supporters gathered for a fun-filled night of games and contests, including our very own superintendent, Dr. Kurt Dietrich, taking it to the house from the San Juan contest. The North Bend High School class of 1964 visited their old stomping ground as part of their 50th high school reunion celebration. Over 60 members of the class toured Pendale Middle School, which served as North Penn Senior High School from 1956 to 1971. The alumni enjoyed walking the halls and reminiscing about the good old days, as well as seeing all of the changes since they were students. And finally, all North Penn alumni are invited to attend the annual MPHS Winter Concert on Wednesday, December 17th at 7.30 p.m. in the high school auditorium. The festive evening will feature musical selections of the high school bands, choruses, and orchestra groups, and as always, will conclude with the annual singing of the Hallelujah Chorus. If you cannot make it out to the concert, be sure to watch it live on North Penn Television, Wednesday, December 17th at 7.30 p.m. For more on these stories and all of our programming 24-7, go to youtube.com backslash MPTV. I'm Lauren Schwartz. Have a happy holiday season and a happy new year. See you in 2015. Welcome to our regularly scheduled action meeting. This meeting is being videotaped for community cable channels. Individuals attending this meeting and intending to speak to the board should be aware that they are being videotaped. In order to meet the requirements of Pennsylvania's Sunshine Law, it is necessary to record the names of all citizens who speak to the board during the meeting. To assure compliance with this requirement, it is essential that those planning to address the board come to the microphone, state their name and address, and sign the Audience of Citizens logbook. Members of the audience are asked to limit their questions and comments. To allow time for all those who wish to speak to the board, the board president may ask the individual to yield the microphone to the next speaker. And now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening and welcome again. We're going to start off with an announcement that the board did meet in executive session this evening, December 11, 2014, from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. to discuss matters of personnel, potential litigation, and negotiations. The second item on our agenda would normally be recognition and proclamations, but tonight we do not have any. So we're going to move right forward with our audience of citizens. Anybody wishing to speak to the board, please feel free to step forward, state your name and address, and sign the audience of citizens logbook. Uh, good evening, and uh, I want to thank you all for your participation and your interest. And this is a very difficult job. It goes on and on and on. And the challenges that <clears throat> come before you, I'm sure, are very monumental. And it would take the collective labor of all of you to solve these. And sometimes the problems are not solvable. But I'm going to continue on with what I had last week about the dialogue on the uh, student transportation and the support services. And uh, I should actually recuse myself from this because I am an owner of this company, and one of the many owners. And uh, this concerns the um, <clears throat> Student Transportation, STA, Student Transportation. They've been awarded a new contract with the Columbia Public Schools in Columbia, Missouri. The initial three-year contract, okay, they will be provided with 212 brand new state-of-the-art school vehicles bring in annual revenue to the company of 10 million. I believe that we have 168 buses and of course it's 14 million, but you know, I, I don't know much about that. STA currently has operations of similar size and contracts in Omaha, 
Boise, Milwaukee, and Los Angeles, fairly large communities with diverse populations, diverse conditions. So, you know, they, they have, a, they have a, a culture that they, they understand how to do this. Um, these new vehicles, which would be very interesting, I don't know if we have this or not, these new vehicles will feature uh, state-of-the-art onboard cameras, GPS, child checkmate systems for added security, that's safe schools, okay, and leaving no child on the uh, child alone on the vehicle after it is. I've heard of that sometimes. I don't know how that occurs. I guess the driver, you know, it was distracted. And they also have a mobile application called Safe Stop, available to parents. The app allows the app allows them to know exactly when the bus will arrive at their designated stop in the morning and afternoon, and also arrival and departures at school. That would be really wonderful because. There's many parents during inclement weather. It's raining, and well, you know, I do have four and a half minutes until the bots arrive, so that's that's really a good feature. And I had that down in the uh, Tampa area, and uh, when I ride and uh, on, uh, I live at the Indian Shores, and you go to the bus stop, and magically you know, oh, don't worry, the bus will be here in two and a half minutes. A real nice thing when you're when you know what the schedule is, and you're able to use that. Okay. <clears throat> They will be employing 225 people in this community, and they will be using the ones, the people that are already, they'll have to apply for the dispatchers, vehicle technicians, and this company runs over 12,000 buses. <clears throat> they, they don't buy it from, uh, you know, uh, a distributor here. They go right to Navistar. They're able to use CNG. They get, I'm sure they buy vehicles much more cheaply than what we can. They just bought 480 buses from Navistar, okay? That company gets the depreciation on the bus. I'm sure they get a tremendous discount, and I'm sure they'll be able to sell those buses that are, that are used probably to some third world country, to Peru or Argentina, where they don't really have the money to buy new vehicles, but they're more than happy to, to do that. Now, the research that I had, which Susie Krauss was very nice to be able to give me, I looked it over, and I'm still, still doing this, and I said I was impressed. And Mr. Sapinski, you told me that, well, you know, we can do this really cheap, and, you know, we've looked at that many times. And I said, well, I guess so. The age of these vehicles. Now, this is just the top page. 2004, 2006, 2005, 1998. That's really an old vehicle. 2004, 1996, 2004, 2004, 1998, 98, 2006, 90. 2010, there's a new one. I don't know how much that one cost. 96, 2000, that's just the first page. I guarantee you that we had probably the oldest rolling stock in the United States. And the reason you can keep your cost down, now over here, this is very impressive. This is the, this is the diesel fuel record, and I pointed that out. Today, diesel fuel went down, well, we'll talk about, that's the topic of today, that the price of uh, West Texas and uh, Brent are all plunging. Now, I don't know if we hedged our fuel out or not, but I'm sure that in some situation that they hedge the fuel out. And you know what? You could probably ride around a corner for 40 cents less and fill your vehicle up. But, you know, since you don't really understand how fuel is going to go and you want to get ahead of the wave, you more than pay, so you have a fixed cost. It doesn't work when the thing goes the other way and you wind up losing. How much did you lose on that? Well... We could have just bought it at the gas station. We lost about $200,000 because we, were, we thought we were smarter than some uh, hedge fund up in New York, or we know exactly the, the way the uh, futures are going to go on heating oil and, and uh, you know, West Texas and Brent. So, you know, I don't think that we're really in the cap have the capability to be able to operate in the same capacity as Goldman Sachs. But, you know, that's another, that's something else that needs to be discussed. I looked at the maintenance. I tell you, it's pretty impressive. You know what? You must, have, you must have magicians working in there. Because with the age of these vehicles, I've seen many vehicles with over 100,000 miles. You know the average person with over 100,000 miles? You know what it is? He has that because he can repair it himself, or he can't afford a car, and, uh, or he's retired, and I can play around with that car for a couple of days while I get the fuel pump in. That's why you got an old car, OK? These people here. These people here, wow, they bought 212 new buses. I don't think we're going to be able to afford 212 buses all at one shot. 
That's all I got to say about that. So I wish you'd think about the transportation. You wouldn't have the FICA. You wouldn't have the pension. You don't have the legacy cost. You don't have the health. What you need to do is get rid of all the people that are involved, outsource this, and get like a modern corporation. Thank you very much. Anyone else? <clears throat> All right, recommend approval of the minutes of the November 20th, 2014 action meeting as well as the minutes of the December 1st, 2014 reorganization meeting as circulated. So moved. Motion by Mr. Schilling, second by Mrs. Tronach. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Ab abstain. One abstention. John is named too. I don't have to. We're in here. I don't have to. Okay. You don't have to know as long as you. Let's move forward with our committee reports this evening. We're going to start with finance, Mr. O'Donnell. Okay, the Finance Committee report for Thursday, December 11, 2014. The Finance Committee met on November 24th and the following items were discussed. The monthly financial re reports were reviewed. The earned income tax revenue continues to trend upward and we expect to exceed the revenue budget for this line item. The new CD investment program via CEDAR, CDARS, was reviewed, which is increasing interest earnings for the district. The North Monco Technical Career Center bond refunding opportunity was reviewed and discussed. The potential savings for North Penn is approximately 165,000 net of issuance cost, with the majority of the savings being realized in the current fiscal year. Each member district will be asked to pass a parameters resolution in order to proceed with the refunding. The 2015-16 building budget allocations based on enrollment on enrollment projections were discussed. Budget meetings with building principals, cabinet members, and other department administrators are being conducted in December. The preliminary increase for the medical benefits for 2015-16 represents a 7% increase over the current fiscal year. A new monthly report is being provided regarding procurement cards. The monthly report will include all activity from the cards in order to enhance transparency. A review, of the procur a review of the procurement card system will be undertaken along with development of a form of policy. Items move from the work session to action meeting, budget transfers tonight, and the parameters resolution for the North Monaco bond funding in January. Our next meeting will be on January 26th at 6.30 p.m. or following the support services meeting. End of report. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions of finance this evening? Safe Schools, Mrs. Murphy. <clears throat> the Safe Schools Committee has not met since our last meeting. The next meeting of the Safe Schools Committee is scheduled for Monday, January 5th, which will be our first day back at 630 at the ESC Center. We hope that you'll come. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions of Safe Schools this evening? Personnel, Mr. Kerr. Personnel Committee did not meet this month. <clears throat> Thank you. Any questions of personnel this evening? Support services, Mr. Schilling. Uh, yes, Mr. Shravinsky. The Support Service Committee met on Monday, November 24th, discussed the following. Um, Pete Medica of Bonnet Associates presented two scenarios regarding the scope of potential future high school uh, renovation projects. That's to the old section of the high school. The two scenarios include a system-only approach and the second scenario including a more comprehensive scope of work. The Support Services Committee discussed the scope of work included in each, with each, each scenario and briefly discussed financing of the project. <clears throat> The committee requested that the architect and administration prepare a complete list of needs to be presented at a future meeting. The next presentation will be presented at a special work session of the board and will include photos and videos and of the building and the systems. We also, uh, there are two change orders and a Verizon relocation agreement for half field renovation and addition projects were discussed along with two defunct change orders for natural gas conversion project. Four change orders and um, relocation agreement are on this evening's agenda for your consideration. Also, we discussed an update on the Penfield Pen Book Security Camera Projects, uh, what was provided, and both projects are now complete. This complete, completes the installation of security, security cameras at the high school, Penbrook, Pendale, and Penfield. Also, a contract with M MSDS Online was discussed and recommended to be brought uh, forward uh, this evening for consideration. MSDA Online provides online, obviously, MSDS information updates for their for all materials in our buildings as required by the Pennsylvania Department of Labor and Industry. 
Our next meeting uh, for the committee is scheduled for Monday, January 26th, 6 p.m. here at the Educational Service Center. End of report. Thank you. Any questions of Mr. Schilling in the <coughs> service this evening? Education, Community, and Policy, Mrs. Leonard. Thank you. Um, our ECP committee did not meet this month. Our next meeting will be on January 12th at 6.30 in the ESC building. Thank you. Thank you. North Penn Educational Foundation, Mrs. Murphy. Thank you. This week I had the privilege of sitting on the Foundation Grant Review Committee and selecting nearly $14,000 of innovative projects to fund for the remainder of the school year. These 20 mid-year grants are in addition to the 24 grants already being supported this year worth more than $13,000. The new projects include TV equipment at the middle school and elementary school level, nanotechnology, building a coral reef system, field trips, and much more. I want to thank the educators who took time to apply for these grants, the trustees and district staff who helped to review all the proposals, and the donors who make this all possible. Speaking of donors, I want to thank Weiss Market, who recently donated $3,000 to the foundation through the EIPC program. And it's also, this is a way for businesses to receive tax credit for donations made to the foundation. And as you know, we've made a real drive this year to improve those funds, and it's working. This is an important funding source for us and will go towards STEM, telecommunication, and technology needs within the school district. The foundation is currently accepting donations to its staff tribute program where families can recognize district staff with, with a monetary gift to the foundation. We are also working on a spring charity luncheon and a May Day online auction. I am so proud to report that three foundation grants are being implemented this month in our schools. The projects include student television production, a visit to the Police Touch Museum for ESL students, and finally the popular vocab bowl at MPHS. Any questions about the foundation can be directed to Christine Liberoski at the ESC. Thank you for all your support. Carolyn Murphy. Thank you. Any questions on the North Penn Educational Foundation this evening? North Monco Technical Career Center, <coughs> Mr. Kerr. Um, yes, the VOTEC will be meeting Monday, and I believe we reported uh, the last that meeting that we had uh, last month. So Monday okay. will be the... <clears throat> the infamous holiday dinner where uh, the culinary students cook for, uh, you know, folks and they invite mm -hmm. board members from all the sending districts year, and past board members. And it's, it's always a nice affair. So I think we're all looking forward to it. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you. Montgomery County Intermediate Unit, Mrs. Murphy, you're on again. Yeah, we had, we had I met before the last meeting, so we won't meet until the fourth uh, Wednesday in January. But I must admit, it's and you will understand, Mr. Sherpinski, this may be our last meeting in the old building. In February, we'll be moved on, and I'm very excited about it, and I will share all that with you next month. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe you can set up a tour. Photos? <laughs> sure, sure. All right, let's move forward with our superintendent's report, Dr. Dietrich. Thank you, Mr. President. I recommend approval of a settlement agreement for the student 1211141, -1 whose name is on file in the office of the superintendent, and approval of an agreement in for tuition in lieu of free and appropriate education for student 1211142, whose name is on file in the office of the superintendent. So moved. Motion by Mr. O'Donnell, second by Mr. Schilling. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion is approved. I recommend approval of the new board policy 3640 regarding payment of bills per item 6914A through D. Motion by Mrs. Tronock. Second by Mr. Kerr. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Recommend approval to authorize the administration to work with Public Financial Management Incorporated as independent financial advisor, Eckert Siemens, Sharon, and Malo LLC as bond counsel, and the solicitor to proceed with the issuance of up to $10 million of general obligation bonds, the proceeds of which will be used towards various capital improvements, including paying the costs of planning, designing, acquiring, constructing, furnishing, and equipping additions and improvements to the Hatfield Elementary School. Uh, motion by Mr. O'Donnell. Second. Second by Mrs. Murphy. <clears throat> Comments or questions? We have new bond council on this one? Yes. No, it's the same bond council we used for the first phase of Hatfield borrowing. I believe we've used this particular firm for two issues in the past. Yes, we have. Okay. 
because I thought it was blank room or Fox or somebody, right? Who was it? Who, who is it usually? Franklin? I'm talking about Franklin Pepper in the old days of Franklin? Franklin? You used uh, Pepper <laughs> Hamilton in the Pepper past. Hamilton, Pepper, right. yeah. So, yeah. okay. All right. All right. I'm going to sleep oh, then. I don't recall. No. Nothing. Just, okay. just new counsel. All right. Any other comments? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. I recommend approval of a three-year contract with MSDS Online to provide online MSDS sheet access in compliance with the Pennsylvania Bureau of PennSafe Worker and Community Right to Know laws in the amount of $1,199 a year per item 7514. So moved. Motion by Mr. Sullivan. Second. Second by Mr. Schilling. Comments or question? $1,999? Yes. <laughs> so All those. What's that? I think Mr. Schneider can yeah, explain the MSDS say, requirements. Mr. Schilling talked about. Yes, yeah. yeah, the MSDS yeah. um, requirement is a requirement of the uh, Department of uh, Labor and Industry by Pennsylvania, where every material in the building, a uh, school building, must have a material safety data sheet in the building and accessible. Uh, this offers us online updates um, for the next three years of all the MSDS sheets that are required. Like if there's particular chemicals that could be harmful for you and you're concerned, you can look it up and you can find out that chemical if you're, you know, have an allergy to it or whatever. So, yeah. <clears throat> Any other questions? I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Approved. Recommend approval of change order EC1 for Electrotech Incorporated for the Hatfield renovation and addition project at a change in contract amount of $4,067.20 for equipment and other miscellaneous charges per item 7614A through B. So moved. Motion by Mr. Schilling. Second. Second by Mrs. Murphy. Comments or questions? <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Approved. Recommend approval of change order PC1 for J.R. Reynolds Incorporated for the Hatfield Renovations and Additions Project and a change of contract amount of $2,711 for waterless two flush type fixtures per item 7714. So moved. Motion by Mr. Sullivan. Second by Mr. Brown. Comments or questions? So we're going from waterless to flush. <laughs> Smart move. Smart move with kids. <clears throat> I thought waterless was more expensive. Frankly, but well, it's, it's a, a it's problem. a nice technology, but yeah, you have issues they with kids. Have issues with uh, clogs and like, it, it, a lot of maintenance. Yeah. Somebody said it wouldn't, it wouldn't right. travel as far. Yeah, there was there was problems with clogging. Am I correct? Oh, yeah. Call the meeting. We had problems with clogging. Correct. And, with like, with crystals with, or something. <laughs> right. Crystallizing. And, you know. All right. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Opposed? <clears throat> Approved. Recommend approval of payment to Verizon for the relocation and installation of communications cabling in the amount of $27,959 per item 7814. So moved. Motion by Mr. Schilling. Second. Second by Mr. Brown. Comments or questions? When I heard snickering, nobody wants to make a comment about that. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion is carried. Recommend approval of a deduct change order for PC2 to Stanrock Plumbing Incorporated for the natural gas conversion project, the change of contract amount of five th excuse me, $561 for natural gas regulator will be a credit for the Montgomery Elementary School per item 7914. So moved. Motion by Mr. Schilling, second by Mr. O'Donnell. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Recommend approval of a deduct change order PC3 to Stanrock Plumbing Incorporated for the natural gas conversion project, change of contract amount of $414.61 for unused allowances per item 8014. So moved. Motion by Mr. Schilling. Second. Second by Mrs. Murphy. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Uh, I have a question. Stanrock Plumbing, J.R. Reynolds, mm -hmm. what, what am I missing? What do you mean? Why he's giving us money back? In terms of the two different. Uh, yeah, well, there's different names. Yeah, they're two JR different projects. J.R. Reynolds is Aren't the just two subs? Uh, group that's on the Hatfield project, and then Stanrock is the group that's on the natural okay. gas conversion, which was 
at Montgomery, Montgomery Elementary. Gwinnett Square. Go oh, ahead. Montgomery, Montgomery Gwinnett Square. And that, that that's a typo on that sheet. I apologize for that. Right. Oh, it is? I mean, it's Where's the, the J.R. Reynolds listing on that sheet? J.R. Reynolds, J.R. Reynolds, Stan Rocks. Uh, Mr. Or, Solicitor, yeah. should we amend this, Mr. Solicitor? Is it on the information sheet or where's the problem? We had a wrong school on this when we read it. On the information sheet. On the information sheet. Just real Back in the back. So it should be Hatfield. Want to know? Didn't you say? No, no it's, it's Montgomery. It's the guest conversion project. So in it's the motion, it's correct? The motion, the motion is correct. Is correct. But the information correct. sheet oh, has an error in it. All right, so we have a motion and a second. Any other discussions? I just want to make sure. Relax. All those in favor? <laughs> Opposed? All right, it's passed. Thank you. Yeah. It's, double approved. It's, double approved. it's double approved, just to be safe. All right. Keep going. I recommend approval to apply for the Reward School Innovation Grant for Hatfield Elementary School in the amount of $50,000 for the 2014 15 school year per item 8114. So moved. Oh. Motion by Mrs. Tronach, second by Mrs. Murphy. Comments or questions? Just tremendous work being done by the Hatfield Elementary School, all of the um, individuals that work there, and we're really That's proud absolutely. of this. Let's Good. give them a new school in a few years. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's yeah. what I when we're done fixing it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Can uh, hold on. Hatfield Practice. Elementary. Oh, you mean who's writing who, it? Don't we have a grant writer for this one? Yeah, over there. Shh. That would be me. Hold on, guys. One at a time. Go ahead. No, Let's go stop. ahead. No. I asked. Is our grant writer going to be applying for this, or are you going to be applying? Actually, I'll be working with Hatfield on it tomorrow. We actually have a very tight timeline because we were just, we were notified <laughs> based on Hatfield's SPP score, they were awarded the status of reward high achievement. As a result, this year they're eligible to apply for a fifty thousand dollar grant for the school. The turn right. we were notified last week. The turnaround time is this basically has to be done by Christmas. <laughs> so, so, uh, so I met with the staff last week. I'm meeting with them again Good. tomorrow, and I'm hoping to get a draft written over the weekend so we can get I this in before confidence. Christmas. Good <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I do have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved. Recommend acceptance of the gifts to the district as listed. So moved. Motion by Mr. Schilling, second by Mrs. Tronock. Comments or questions? Yeah, I just was, again, say thank you uh, to patient first. That's very kind of them. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Accept it. Thank you. Recommend approval of bids per item BA4, A through B, as listed. Motion by Mr. Schilling. Second. Second by Mr. Kerr. Comments or questions? Yeah, I, um, I'm, I don't plan on supporting this. Um, I, uh, I apologize for not bringing that up to me. It's in my mind. Um, I just thought. We should have had more discussion about this before we thought it was coming to full board for a vote. You want to share your concerns? or? Well, yeah. Um, I just think having um, someone plow, someone who is not our employees plow our high school and uh, elementary schools are, is hiring someone that is not familiar with all the intricacies that they need to be familiar with at our parking lots well, and our, um, I actually I actually asked that concerns. same question right. yeah. I think mr. Snyder has a pretty good answer regarding that. would you like to hear him yeah well I, I, can I finish why oh, I, I'm sorry, I like I'm sorry. And, uh, okay yeah. also um, my experience with people that uh, do this for a living tend to show up uh, at the first snowflake whether mm -hmm. we need them or not and um, I, I have concerns about that I'm not saying that this company behaves in that manner, but I'm just saying it's something that I've experienced in the past. Um, I, I like that our people show up, they get the job done. We haven't had any problems with them in the past. We've had some pretty bad winters over the last three or four years, and uh, they performed very well over the last three or four years. So, um, yeah, I, I don't see any reason why to bring an outsider in to do that. And, and you know, I had the same question, like I said, and I think Mr. Snyder had a good comment regarding that. So, uh, the goal is first off, the contract does not permit the contractor to uh, come on site without prior notification. We have to communicate with him, and it's not a contract which every snowfall he would be uh, dispatched to, to remove snow. Um, the thought of it is is to try to take our largest and earliest site off of the responsibility of the district because there were times last year where some of the sites um, were late getting completed 
and we were actually plowing snow late in the afternoon. So if we can get a jump on the middle schools by taking the high school off of uh, the responsibility of doing a heavier snowfall, it would be beneficial to getting the schools open and reducing the number of uh, two-hour delays. Yeah, this, this is designed to augment our force, right? Correct. I mean, it's not, we're not just replacing them. Right. This is Correct. just kind of surge if, when we need it kind of Only thing. when we need it. I felt the same exact way you felt. Uh, well, I didn't see that yeah, I didn't expansion the of, that, of what the bid actually... Yeah. I mean, that, that is correct. Your concern correct. is absolutely yeah. valid. I mean, I agree with you <coughs> the same way, and I asked him before the meeting. And, I, and again, I, I apologize for not no, voicing no. my concerns earlier. But, uh, no, that's uh, a good question. If, if that's the case, if it's just to augment our, uh, our, our force, if you will, then, yeah, I could support that. Any other questions or comments for this issue? All right, I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved. I heard they were out there driving around today, Joe. Look, <laughs> <laughs> <for a> <laughs> off the roof. Yeah. Personnel. Want, personnel. I recommend approval of personnel items as listed, A through C. So moved. Motion by Mr. Kerr. Second. Second by Mrs. Murphy. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Approved. Recommend approval of student travel per item BA7. So, okay. Motion by Mrs. Charnock. Second by Mr. Kerr. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved. We recommend <clears throat> approval of contracts per BA 8, copies of which are on file in the Office of Business Administration. So moved. Motion by Mr. Kerr. Second. Second by Mrs. Murphy. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. We recommend approval of alternative placements per BA 9, copies of which are on file in the Office of Special Education. So moved. Motion by Mr. Kerr. Somebody? Second. Second. Second by Mrs. Murphy. Thank you. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion is approved. Let's move forward with our finance report. Mr. Staraki. Thank you, Mr. President. This financial report is for the month of November 2014. Cash receipts for the month of November totaled $7,329,419.85. The disbursements for the month of November totaled $14,998,139.40, leaving the district with an available balance through the end of November of $153,604,047.72. Thank you. Would you move forward with sanction and approval of invoices? Yes, thank you. I'm recommending approval of disbursements to be sanctioned for the month of November 2014 in the amount of 15 million nine hundred two thousand eight hundred thirty three dollars and eighty four cents and disbursements to be approved for the month of December 2014 in the amount of three million two hundred twenty three thousand three hundred sixty five dollars and twenty six cents so moved motion by Mr. O'Donnell second by Mr. Brown any questions all those in favor Aye. Aye. opposed it approved <laughs> Let's move forward with the budget transfers. I recommend approval of the October 2014 budget transfers in the amount of $560,369.87 per item BA 10 A through D. So moved. Motion by Mr. O'Donnell, second by Mr. Schilling. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <clears throat> Approved. And why don't you finish off the last one? I recommend approval of the master letter of credit agreement between TD Bank and North Penn School District for the Hatfield Elementary School project per item BA 11A through S. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. O'Donnell, second by Mr. Schilling. Comments or questions? Yeah, Steve, are we getting the million dollars back once we issue this? Like same that, day? That's correct. We posted uh, an escrow amount. We actually posted a check to Hatfield township and what we're doing now is we're actually going to post a letter of credit so we'll receive that money back and we'll have the letter of credit on file okay and so they know that the check was they have the check but it was not cashed correct correct 1.2 1, 1. million dollars correct right they're just holding it though correct okay they got it in a frame on a wall somewhere <laughs> there you go. or is it in a safe somewhere <laughs> <laughs> surprised they didn't ask us to electronically transfer the money 
Um, one, uh, one other point I just want to make, we're going to answer an adjournment, but uh, Happy New Year, everybody. We're not going to see each other until the next year. Motion to adjourn? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Yes, yeah, so we'll vote on it. We have to, I guess. Oh, yeah. I have a motion and a second. Thank you. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Approved. Now we can issue a letter. A motion to adjourn? Aye. Done.